Hey, how's it going, y'all? In this video, I want to talk about an issue I was having in my studio. So in my studio, it's a pretty tight space and I really like the aesthetic that I have built. I love my blue chairs. I love my uh, my wood wall. I love my plants, the lighting and everything. Um, but when I first got the when me and my wife first got this house, this room in particular gets really warm. It gets lots of sunlight which is really good. You would think for photography, videography and stuff like that. This, this room is always lit up. It's always pretty warm in here because all the sunlight. But one issue that I would have a lot is actually um, having the lighting interrupt the video. Like if I'm shooting a video with a bunch of takes, the white balance would be off or the video will look a little different. There are certain times in day where I would notice that the video just looks so epic, especially when I was shooting with my Nikon and I'll have these blinds open or whatever the case is. So fast forward to maybe three, four years ago, my wife told me, hey, how about you just get like 99% blacked out curtains and these blackout curtains will eliminate any light coming in. It will also help keep the room cool. I sweat pretty easy. So having a room that's like nice and cool and the lighting gets to be mitigated, the lighting issue. So I get consistent lighting with my video lights. There's no light shifting or anything. So I opted to get two curtains. I have one over here, I have a window here and a window behind there. And it worked out great. But when I would have guests come in to do a podcast, there would be a big issue. Now, the blacked out curtains, they're black. And when the light video light shines on it or any light shines on it, it doesn't reflect back on the guest or the host, whoever sitting near the window. And it it's not like a big deal, but it's a big deal to me because I know what's going on. I, and it's like I'll be editing a shot side by side and then one will be brighter and one would be darker. So there were there were a couple of times where I would strategically place someone with um, lighter or fair skin near the window. That way, when the light, when the black, black towel curtains absorb the light, the guest or the host isn't like their their skin tone isn't that messed up or the lighting doesn't really affect them too much. So, yeah. I've been dealing with that for a while now. And then I found out how to fix it. Like you could say, well, Gil, get like white curtains. Like, yeah, get white curtains. That'll be great. But that's not going to look, um, it's not going to really fit the aesthetic of my space. And it's just going to look weird. Just a white curtain, just, you know, swinging about. And somebody said, well, get a lamp. You know, you get a lamp, you put a video, video light on there. We'll already have a light on top of it. Well, where, where are we? So you're like, well, what did you do? Well, obviously, if you're looking at the video, you can tell what I did. I got these room dividers. Now, these room dividers, they don't come with lights. Well, well Gil, how does the room divider have a light behind it? I use a ring light that I had in my closet and I put like two levels of diffusion over it. So that way it's like nice and soft and not too, too harsh. I'm planning on getting like a like a like a uh, what do you call that? Um a tube light, a tube light would probably be better. But for right now, this works great. And it's something that you wouldn't really know unless you're in this situation. And that's why I'm making this video rant, because I'm pretty sure there are videographers out there who are dealing with this situation. And it's like, everybody's telling you, dude, it's totally fine. Like nobody's looking at that. I am. And if I'm not really satisfied with how a video or photo looks, and it's I, it's not going to come out or I'm not going to put my name on it. And for a long time, clients, especially more recently, clients have been renting out my space. And it's been like something in the back of my mind where I'm like, oh, gosh, I got to put in like some extra steps in here for whoever's sitting in that chair. Not anymore. So not only is the problem fixed, mitigated and all that, it made my studio look way better. And I've had this idea for the last couple of years and I just never bit the bullet and I said, screw it. <laughs> I'm tired of light waiting on it. Let me just fix this right now. And it looks great. But thank you so much for joining me on this video. It means a lot. Um, I, 
as you can tell, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to start filming more with this set. I can't wait for my clients and my future clients to get in here and kind of experience this whole thing. Cause that's, that's what it's all about for me is just getting an overall better experience, a better content for myself, for my clients. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did comment down below, like comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.